Hello folks, this video will show you where to get the final conch, as well as solving all the puzzles in Day 5 Story Domain. To get the last conch, you need to finish the entire story portion of Day 5. So the first part of this video is all the solutions for the Story Domain. If you already finished the story and just want the conch location, just skip to the end where I have a timestamp. When you first enter the domain, go and grab the three little shards in the main room. We'll need those shards to open doors. Go to the first door clockwise of where you entered, and you can place the shard on the top half and the bottom half to match the symbol on the door. If you align your camera, you can make it so you can see the symbol as well as your inventory, which makes it easier to choose. Go and pick the upper and lower shards to match the icon on the door to break the seal. Then enter the new room to see the new puzzle type for this event. If you look in the sky, there is a constellation with some dots and some lines. The dots are the little orbs that you see on the ground. And if you hit the orb, you make them draw a line to where it's facing. We'll need to activate and rotate these orbs to match the constellation. Here's the solution for the first one. It is what you see up in the sky, which is kind of like an arrow. After solving it, the chest will appear. Open the chest and don't run away. You need to wait for the little star to spawn and then touch that to guide it back to the main room. After guiding it to the main room, fall into the well in the middle to continue the story where you do a little bullet hell event with Mona. The next time you return back to the domain, we'll be opening a different door. This time will be the first door on our right. The upper shard is the one that looks like a tree or crazy antlers, and the bottom shard looks like two legs. Go ahead and place those in and head into the new room, where we'll have another constellation puzzle. You can touch the little star on the left to guide it into the sky, which shows you the solution on what you need to make. It's a little hard to see because part of it is being blocked by the structure, but it's essentially a triangle with zigzags on the top. Here's what the solution looks like, as well as a guide to the solution itself.
After solving it, guide these stars to the center room, and then you have a little walk and talk event with Mona. The third time you come back is also the last. This time we need to solve two doors. The first door we'll open is in the back right. Go ahead and put the two matching shards to make this weird compass looking thing. Then follow it into the room. The solution is not at the ceiling this time, it's actually on the right. There's a screen that shows our solution. Like the last puzzle, I'll show an image of the e solution here, as well as me going through it if you want to watch the step by step. You can also pause to try to solve it on your own, and then skip ahead. When you finish this one, guide these stars to the center room, but you're not done yet. You need to solve another room. So we'll need to open the last door. The bottom shard is pretty obvious, but the top one is not the one you have in your inventory. Go back and find the door with the antler or tree looking top and the human leg on the bottom, and remove the shard on the bottom to get those legs, because we'll be using that for the top on this door. After opening it, follow the path and we'll enter a room with more constellation puzzles. If you activate the switch, you'll see three different ones in the sky. Ignore the second two for now, those are related to chess and doesn't progress the story. The constellation we want is the first one shown. I'll have the image again and me going through the solution. Also, if you want a quick bonus chest, instead of following the star to the main room, go back to the switch and activate it. This will cause a blue platform to spawn, and you can go to the middle of this blue circle and ascend to the top. This will lead you to a chest as well as other goodies.
But we're here for the main story, so guide the star back to the main room and you'll do some more events with Mona. Eventually, you'll be stuck down here where you need to seize destiny. This area might be confusing, but what you want to do is look for a moving star. It might be hard to see at first, but you'll find it eventually. Just keep an eye out for something that's making a little trail. Once you find it, go and capture it to complete the event and get a cutscene. And here's the cutscene for you to enjoy. There was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It has never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. After the cutscene, we are done with the story. Now we can go back to the domain where there's plenty of chests and our last conch. From the main room, go to the first hallway clockwise. This is also the first constellation that we saw during the story, but this time there's no longer a shield blocking the room in the back. Go ahead and follow this linear path to several rooms until we get to another constellation puzzle. This time we need to solve three puzzles back to back, but it's pretty easy. One side of the room shows the constellation you need to make, and the alignment of the orbs matches you looking at the screen. So this is probably the easiest set of constellation puzzles that we have. Go ahead and solve all three of them. When you're done, a chest will spawn as well as an arrow pointing to a corner in the room. I'll continue in a couple minutes after solving this, or you can just skip ahead.
After getting the chest, follow the arrow to the corner and interact with this door to open a secret room. Follow that and on the left is our last conch. This room also has a chest with a simple puzzle where you just need to step on the switches to make it look like the constellation on the ground. But we're not here for the chest, we're here for the conch. And that's it. Thanks for watching my guides on getting all 20 conchs for Fischl's costume. Even though you only need 16, getting the last 4 will give you a good chunk of Mora, which is always nice. If these Genshin guides are helpful, please like and subscribe, and let me know how to improve in the comments down below. Hope you are enjoying the rerun of the Golden Archipelago. Can't wait for the big 3.0 patch very soon. But for now, have fun out there, traveler.